Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Today I am in a fantastic mood. A, because the weather outside is super gray and dark and dismal and honestly the more depressing the weather, the happier I am. Also because I have the day to just relax at home with a nice cup of tea and just read whatever book I desire. Everything is nice and relaxing now that Thanksgiving break and winter break is approaching and I could not be more happy. And of course with all of this free time approaching, I do have so many Many amazing books that I am planning on reading. I do actually have a literal list of books that I am planning on reading during these upcoming breaks and I wanted to share it with you guys because I am just so excited about these books. I just needed to talk about them, frankly. These aren't all of the books that I plan on reading during fall and winter because trust me, I'm going to be reading way more books. These are the most important books on the list so they deserve to be on the top basically. The first book that I am very excited to read is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I actually hauled this book a while ago and unfortunately it has just been sitting on my shelf even though I said I was going to read it. Classic me. I will be reading it during the fall and winter breaks. It takes place in the year 2059 and it follows a girl named Paige who works in the criminal underworld of what is called Skyon London and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. But anyway, yes, she works in the criminal underworld and Paige is what is called a dreamwalker and a dreamwalker has the ability to break into the minds of people and steal information from them. So that is her job, which is bad because she's not supposed to be doing that. This book has just received so many positive reviews. People love this book. I frankly have really high hopes for it. I will be reading this and I am so excited. Next book that I'm going to read, I am like beyond excited for. This one I think I might be the most excited for. I actually just talked about it in my last video which just tells you how excited I am for it. I can't stop talking about it. And that book is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Heartless is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, which is so cool. I love Alice in Wonderland, so this one really, really appeals to me, and the plot just sounds so good. It is about this girl who really wants nothing more than to live a simple life. She loves baking, and she really just wants to be a baker. But her mother has other plans for her and has arranged for her to go to a royal ball, where she she is expected to receive the king's marriage proposal. However, at this royal ball, she doesn't talk much to the king. Instead, she ends up meeting a very mysterious and charming Jess. Her and this Jess end up getting involved in a secret courtship and it just sounds so exciting and good. I'm considering starting it like today. <sighs> I just can't wait. I can't wait. So yes, yes, I will be reading this one like, like right now. Maybe not right now, but like immediately after filming. And the next book is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Manisca mm. I just feel so bad for the amount of times that I butcher authors' names. Someone can make an entire video of me just pronouncing 99% of authors' names wrong. But don't do that, because that would be embarrassing. This book! Oh my gosh, it just looks so good. It's about a girl named Audrey who is a lord's daughter. She lives a wealthy, privileged life. However, she also lives a secret, forbidden life. Audrey is secretly going against her family and society's wishes by practicing forensic medicine. Audrey ends up getting herself involved in investigating a murder mystery. Believe it or not, historical fiction and murder mysteries are one of my favorite combinations for some reason. I guess just the ones that I've read have just been so great that I have really high hopes for this one. This might also be one of the first ones that I read just because it sounds exactly like my kind of book. Definitely keep your eyes out for a review on this one because I plan on reading it very, very, very soon. The next book that I have here is a bit of a strange pick, but I really want to read it and I've had it sitting on my shelves for way too long and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I hauled this one a while ago. I think I actually hauled it with the bone season. No, of course Twilight gets a lot of hate, but The Host gets a lot of love. I actually don't even hate Twilight. So I might really love this book. I like that this book is a science fiction because I've been really into sci-fi lately. I think, I think, that it's about, like, aliens. I haven't read an alien book since Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armitra, but you, you guys, many of you will know how much I love those books, so I am all about reading some more alien books. From what I can tell, the world has been taken over by these things called hosts, and they have the ability to go into people's minds 
and take over their mind. Also, look at how big it is. I don't know if it just looks really big. Let's see how many pages this is. Uh, oh, nope. You gotta be careful when you do this that you don't accidentally read the last sentence of the book because I have done that before. It was horrible. It was a really horrible experience. I didn't even get to read the book because I felt like I'd spoiled the entire thing for myself. So always be careful. 619 pages. So yeah, it's a pretty big book. I am so ready to devour the entire thing. Bring it on, Stephanie Meyer. Bring it on. The last and final book on my list is Paper Princess by Erin Watt and L. Kennedy. This book I am like abnormally excited for. Just one of those random books that I stumbled upon Goodreads, but I was like, whoa, this I have a feeling could be really good. It just sounds like the kind of book that would be a true guilty pleasure for me and just make me happy and I would fly through it and it would just be one of those things that ends up being an addiction for me. That's kind of what I'm feeling from this but I, you know, we'll see. It is a contemporary and it follows a girl named Ella whose mother has just died and after her mother's death she meets a man named Callum Royal who somehow, I'm not sure how, ends up being her new guardian and he brings her to live with her in his mansion where his five sons also live and from that point on there's just a lot of drama and craziness and deception. I feel like this would be one of the old school Disney movies you know with like Hilary Duff or Amanda Bynes. I don't know if that's just me but I can like envision this very perfectly in my head right now. I think that amongst all of the fantasy and historical fiction that I'm going to be reading it will be nice to also have of a light little refreshing contemporary read although this doesn't really sound like it's going to be very light I feel like I'm expecting a fluffy book but really it's gonna be like full of crazy drama and craziness and I'm so ready for it and those are the books that are on my little priority list for the fall and winter I am so excited to read these I just I'm really pleased with the list that I have right now I feel like it's been a while since I've had a list of books where I'm like oh my god like equally excited for each and every one of them let me know in the comments below if you have any books that you are particularly really excited for for the fall or winter time then i can add them to my tbr even though i already have like way too big of a list but that's okay and with that being said i am going to wrap up today's video so i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up i hope that you all go and have yourselves a fabulous day and i will see you guys next time bye